Hi, Erin. Hello, Dave. Are you going to show me around your beautiful place here today? Come, in, come with me. I'll show you around. Oh, thank you very much. I'm going to follow you. Does a good but job. The, the, the grass on there is mainly for insulation, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And easy, uh, it's you know, easy to maintain, and after 20 years, you're not ripping off shingles and throwing them in the landfill. So, yeah. It, it doesn't break it down or anything, eh? the roof? Not the plastic. No. no. The, the earth, I mean. The earth, no. Compost no. it. No, no. Are you There's totally no. off the grid here, or? We are. How long? Uh, this will be our fourth winter. Wow, and you heat with firewood we as do. well? We have a masonry stove. And you see, we just got our, our delivery of firewood. Oh, we're, we're selling firewood food. as well if oh. you need any. Okay. The woman, it isn't it turning, is. eh? Pardon? The windmill isn't turning. No, it's not. Is that windy? That, it <laughs> okay. won't do it. I mean, that's so. high though, huh? Yeah. So, how much are you getting out of that? Uh, it's a one kilowatt. It provides the majority of our power. It comes from the wind turbine, which we know because it went down over. December and January of last year. So. Do, do you uh, run batteries then? Yeah, we have 16 batteries and we have um, a backup gas generator. Backup for, gas yeah, generator? Yeah, for like when petrol, the turbine Petrol or gas. Yeah. natural gas? Petrol. Petrol. Yeah. Yeah. Gasoline. Gasoline. Yeah. 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 And uh, four solar panels, which are a nice addition in the summer, but during the winter. And the solar panel? Yeah, there's four. What there. do you get out? You get off that? They're 165, so... Watts? Watts, I think. It's not much. But it'll light the light bulbs at night sure. for a night or something. Sure. Yeah. 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 Save using candles. Yeah. 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 And you got a lovely garden growing here. Thank you. I can show you power shed. That's um, yeah. the batteries and stuff. Sure. Nice, huh, Donnie? Is this is a generator room or... Well, battery room or what do we call this? Wind, the windmill feeds the Oh, that's batteries. from the windmill? And then building, and then but, uh, this yeah. here probably runs the house. That's the um, solar panel. Yeah. And the inverter is behind you there. What size? Oh, this is an inverter here. Yes. Well, that's a big so inverter. I should say how many. <laughs> can you see how many uh, amps is on that? Or what? Uh, you have to get a little closer, Don. Oh, I can't see because one of my glasses. Oh. And this is full of batteries. Yeah, there's 16. 16 batteries. We would probably not do this again if we were knowledge now that we're more knowledgeable. Yeah. We would go with um, bigger but fewer. Oh, bigger and fewer. Because the maintenance of looking at every single cell and making sure you're topped up with, with water and all that. And electrolyte, it's um, it's a big job. And how often? Like once a month or? Yeah, supposed to do it monthly. Monthly. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And there's some, some kind of special milking glove? Or? Isn't that nice? No, it's for working with the batteries. <laughs> oh, it looks kind of like uh, alien almost. Yes, it's inside out. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it, was a, it was a plaster glove, and now it's just the right size. I can use the smaller ones. Peter uses the bigger ones. But, uh, yeah. Okay. So, so this is the main center for all the power. Fun, no, what? Uh, oh, insulated here yeah. too nicely, huh? Yeah. yeah. You, you, you murder batteries, they, they don't ever die. <laughs> you kill them. I read that somewhere. <laughs> Battery man told us that. He's just, yeah, yeah. But we did. We, we wrecked a beauty too, and it was Aww. 385 amps uh, off the back of a white pole over there. Definitely. Keep the Let breeze. Show you the, um... She's into the garden. It's so all the same oh, thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we're just sort of learning and reading about the whole permaculture thing. And... Oh, that's my, my son in law going down okay. to Panama. Wow. And that's they're, they're thinking about all of that. They got a guy that's pretty good at it. Great. That's. Uh, Key, you know? Is that your tower for making yeah, speeches, or? Yeah, my daughter plays on that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> my husband works at the uh, outdoor education center, and they're ripping down the portable, so he brought that along for her. Uh, have a, a tree house without a tree. But it's a very nice house. I like it very all much. Families are different. There's things exactly. quirky about us all. <laughs> and look at the color. It's like Rose's living room now. We just painted Rose's living room. Oh, yeah. You know Eggshell almost. Yeah. That's. Uh, Mustard oh. kind of color, right? It's a, it's a masonry paint that's made to, essentially you put it on once. Oh, right. But it dry. comes, instead of coming with the white base and you add colorant to it, it comes with the yellow base and you add white to it. Oh, so I see. Our first coat, which I don't think you can see anymore, it was like... Do you paint it on or spray it on? Paint it on. Fresh. It was it's like... It's really ochre. It was like that. It was like very ochre, ochre. Yeah. It was very ochre. And I thought, oh, it really made a statement for me. So, mm. so, so if you could change anything, if you could change something, what would you change? Oh, that's a good question. We're really, really happy. Um, 
as we get older, doing the the wood in the winter might get to be a bit of a challenge, mm -hmm. but we make one fire a day when we're not here and two fires a day when we're here, so it's not like we're continuously stoking Yeah, yeah, but fireplace. just the wood and carrying upstairs. Yeah, and yeah. We have a, a wood chute now. We have a pretty good system. You can make a little lift, I'm sure, or a pulley lift or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, dumbwaiter. With a donkey running yeah, along. Exactly. Or... Yeah, livestock, that would be. Yeah, some goats <laughs> and stuff, no? On the yeah. roof, trimming the roof. Yeah. We went so no TV, no radio, or we do, oh yeah, yeah. Got everything. We don't have a heat like we don't have a huge flat screen TV, but we're not really that kind of people. It's Canadian <laughs> Idol. That's yeah, about it, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So we we built the system thinking about how we would have our lifestyle. We sized it mm -hmm. bigger than what we need as a family, just for this sort of thing for hosting. Yeah. Um, at some point, we might be a bed and breakfast. Oh, okay. So it is larger than what we need. But All right. We, we it goes down quite a ways too, or what? Um, no, it's but well, yeah. The main yeah. floor is uh, about four feet down at the front. It's earthworm at the back. We can walk back there. All right. See. We'll go have a look at the house. Yeah. Sorry. Kind of a mess, but um, so this is the prototype building that we built first to test out the cordwood. This is the very first one you did. Yeah. See what it took to build with cordwood. Cord wood. Cordwood. So that's cedar logs, and they're in a, a masonry. Firewood. Yeah, it's basically. But it looks very nice. It does. It's uh, labor intensive and not real fast, but it is cheap. And you can do it yourself. And you made this then, once you've tested it, into this, the big one. Yeah. We Same thing, just bigger, no? Pretty much. We learned with this one that uh, there's a couple different ways to do cordwood. You can do it with the logs completely through, mm -hmm. and then you insulate with um, sawdust and lime, which is the traditional way, or you can do a cordwood facing, which is what we ended up doing because you can get a little bit better insulation. And that chimney, you have a, a fireplace in the middle of the house there? Yeah. Or? yeah. Oh, it must be beautiful. All the way around, you can see it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, it's a pretty beautiful. open concept. It's a masonry stove, so that's out of a guy near Ottawa. Masonry, masonry stove. So it's, um, it's designed so that the flues actually wind around a couple times so you get a good combustion and the heat goes out into the masonry that's around it. So we have a... Oh, okay. And it just radiates heat, so it's a radiant heat type of... Uh, and it holds it. Yeah, it's beautiful, yeah, huh? It will burn and will be six or eight hours before we can actually feel it physically on the stone outside and then it stays So you're going to make this into one of your bed and breakfast huts maybe? It would be nice. We have a few issues to figure out. But, uh, it I see you got some crutches in there too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. We uh, have skis and uh, old motors and it's maybe not the most scenic place to be right now, but <laughs> it went on hold while we were working on the house, so and now it's on hold while you finish the carriage. Yeah, Are you going to put grass on top of that too? Yeah. And that's the stuff you put down. That is what he's working on right now. So he's getting the edging up so we can hold the... Soil. What, yeah, what we did with the uh, power shed was to put down several layers oh, two of, of stuff. Uh, but uh, the straw bales being the main component. And then as they rot down, seeding them. And there's a mesh on them to kind of keep them from blowing away. Well, that design Almost an oriental design, style yeah. to it, huh? Pardon? A little bit of oriental style to this. Huh? Yeah, yeah. That one was designed specifically to use up leftover materials. So we yeah. had uh, concrete blocks left from the foundation and we had straw bale left from the main portion. And it was square, which made it go up so fast. <laughs> but Kim, this is a beautiful place and <laughs> I want to you. thank you for showing us around. Oh, thank you. I'm and glad you uh, we'll put this on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> right under Dave's Global Reports. Oh, okay. So thank you very much, well, you're Kim. You're very welcome. Okay. Great. Have a nice day. You too.